The Islamic State terrorist group or ISIS has released a video purporting to show the beheading of U.S. hostage Steven, Steven Sotloff. Now, this being the second such execution of an American journalist within a span of two weeks, there has been, however, no confirmation yet from Pentagon. I am Steven Joel Sotloff. I'm sure you know exactly who I am by now and why I am appearing before you. And now, it is time for my message. I'm back, Obama, and I'm back because of your arrogant foreign policy towards the Islamic State, because of your insistence in continuing your bombings in our Middle East and Mara and the Mosul Dam, despite our serious warnings. Opportunity to warn those governments who have entered this evil alliance of America against the Islamic State to back off and leave our people alone. The latest video that surfaced from Iraq, this one reportedly shot minutes before another American journalist, Steven Sotloff, was beheaded by the Islamic State. The video also had a message for Obama. I'm back, Obama, and I'm back because of your arrogant foreign policy towards the Islamic State, because of your insistence in continuing your bombings in al Mali, Zumar and the Mosul Dam, despite our serious warning. ISIS releasing this video showing the beheading of an American journalist in response to the airstrike carried out by the United States. To warn those governments who have entered this evil alliance of America against the Islamic State to back off and leave our people alone. The hooded terrorist in this video also sending out a message that this UK journalist identified as David Hines, seen at the end of the video, would be executed as well if the West does not withdraw forces. If the video is genuine, we are sickened by this brutal act taking the life of another innocent American citizen. Our hearts go out to the Sotloff family and we will provide more information as it becomes available. Stephen Sotloff has been in the captivity of ISIS terrorists for weeks and his family had even made a public appeal on August 28th seeking the release of their loved one. The beheading of Stephen Sotloff coming just days after the ISIS killed another journalist, James Foley, an incident that Obama promised would have bigger consequences. If there is a video that has been released, it is something that will be uh, analyzed very carefully by uh, the U.S. government uh, and uh, our intelligence officials to determine its authenticity. Two American journalists killed in two weeks. For a country that has sworn to defeat the enemy, the Obama government now in a spot of bother, as time is running out to avoid a third journalist from being beheaded. Bureau Report, Times Now. Another Islamic State beheading in Iraq. A second US journalist executed. Stephen Sotloff, the latest victim. I am Stephen Joel Sotloff. I'm sure you know exactly who I am by now and why I am appearing before you. And now, it is time for my message. ISIS threatens another beheading. To warn those governments who have entered this evil alliance of America against the Islamic State to back off and leave our people alone. US journalist beheaded. Big story. On Times Now.